Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. And what you, what you have in front of us is the Roland BN20 brand new um, printer in my collection of just stuff. Um, so basically, what the, I don't even know what the video is going to be for today. The video is the Roland BN20. Um, just like an overview so far, I love this printer. This printer is pretty dope. Everything that I look for because it's versatile, it prints on vinyl, it prints on signs, it prints on all types of little print stickers too. These are some of the stickers that I made. I need some other sticker paper, but um, yeah, it prints on, prints on shit, prints on all types of shit. Um, this is the RIP software, it's VersaWorks. Um, <clears throat> put a comment if you guys want me to show you a tutorial of how to put a cut line around these things. I can make a video in less than like five minutes to show you how to put a cut line around your images. So what it's doing right now, it is uh, printing. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna take a little while. So um, I don't want y'all to, you know what I'm saying, just watch this print, cause it's gonna take a high little minute. But um, yeah, we just gonna, we just gonna fast forward this show. <laughs> All right, so we are back again, of course. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna preheat my press. It, they say they want it for 300 degrees for five, six seconds, but I always do mine for 333 degrees, 16 seconds. It's been working for me. The pressure gets there. It is what it is. That's how I do it. Still the same old Vibor or whatever this is, power heat press. I don't even know if they make this thing. It's the Chinese one, $200, 10 years later, and it's still doing me good. The wire is still straight. Nothing wrong with these at all. No fuse have blown. Nothing like that. The only thing in 10 years, the only thing that's messed up about it is boot. You see that? Yeah, it just comes off. But it's all good. I just put it back on like that. It's all good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The heat's still hot. Everything's straight. All right, so uh, I'm just preheating it. Uh, got my shirts ready. So what I'm going to do next is, um, you know, it's going to be the end result of the shirts. All right, y'all. So I am rolling with the rolling. This is just like a little quick you know back and forth to hop on the video and rolling let me know um whatever company um i think i got this from man i forget where did i buy this machine from dang it but yeah whatever whatever company i, I, I gotta realize uh, i gotta figure out where i bought this from um yeah we need to do some partnerships man i'll make a video every week on this machine that's how much i love it so yeah this is just a um you know what i'm saying this is just a overview of what it's printing out um size 13 inches i'm still learning this machine myself but so far so good um yeah but i'm rolling with the rolling all right now yeah so basically what it is it's about to cut about to cut out his stuff um you see the cut i don't know why this one did a cut line but i'll do a video because it, it i think i've created two cut lines on that one this one didn't come with a cut line but in the software it's it has the cut line on it so it's getting ready to cut after it cuts you know i'm just going to fast forward to me making this shirt um pretty dope process pretty dope process it all happens in a flash like as soon as it rolls back up it's just going to cut so quick like the rolling bn 20 a cuts faster than the actual rolling bn 20. So if you're in the market to get the Roland B and 20, make sure you get the one with the A right beside it. The only difference is that it doesn't use the uh, metallic inks, the metallic inks and stuff like that. So that's the major difference. And it's a little faster, of course. Uh, but if you, you know what I'm saying, it's just up to you, but I feel like both of them are good. B and 20 is just a little slower. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so now it's about to cut. And one thing I've noticed, make sure, you know what I'm saying, you don't have a power saver on your designated laptop. Because if you have a power saver on your laptop, what happens is basically, you know what I'm saying, when it's when it comes time to cut, and the power saver, like the screen goes black, it kind of messes up the, um, messes up your cuts, you know what I'm saying? Like you can see it, my cut looking good, everything looking good. Looking good. I got a white board on that one. So, yeah. 
all right all right all right so now i am back basically uh yeah i'm back and i got the t-shirt i pressed it down a little bit um this is a two-part thing you got to put the adhesive down to release the artwork and it already cuts out on its own. Look how good that cut. Look how good this one cut. This one has already been pressed. Uh, the feel on it is pretty good. Now, they do have different vinyls that you can purchase, which I, the reason why I love the versatility, you can hear that sound, but it, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's a, a little thinner than the t-shirt transfer paper. Um, but yeah, still pretty good. I'm gonna do a wash test. You know what I'm saying? But of course, it all, it depends on your client. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to be using fabric softener and bleach and things of that nature but uh yeah so we're gonna do this one this is the donald duck before the fame once again before the fame is my trademark brand uh registered trademark so don't be trying to get any ideas because i will sue <laughs> but yeah long story short my trademark brand registered trademark for myself uh here we go we're gonna press that down for 16 seconds and then we're going to release it i'm a little ashy look at that we're going to release it and then um you know do another press high pressure all right all right so we got it for 16 seconds this cricket head press is going to be for sale um i had a couple instances where it wasn't it, it take too long you know what i'm saying and i like to adjust the pressure on my heat presses so what i'm what i did i ordered i'm going to sell this one um, and then I'm going to, you know, get that little, that little DeVivor from, uh, trial, the $150 hat heat press. And it comes up pretty easy. You know, it's a hot pill. Comes off smooth. Comes off real smooth. No issues whatsoever. And then what I do, and what I always do with vinyl, I just make sure I run it through once again. Run through once again. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, should I get the vinyl heat press? I mean, not the vinyl heat press. Oh, yeah, the vinyl printer, or should I get the um, DTG or DTF? I mean, everything has its purpose. Everything definitely has its purpose. Um, I, I do this because I do, I also do like truck signs and stuff like that. So, if you do truck signs, t shirts, uh, and you're looking to get into this lane, I will highly recommend this. But if you just strictly do t shirts, um, and you don't know how to screen print, then you can go about it through the, by doing the, um, you know, whatever you want to do. But I recommend this. If you're a person like me, that have a lot of vinyl clients, make sure you get it like this. And once again, you know, it's your boy Shadow. Hit the thumbs up if you got some, um, some use out of this video. Um, hit the thumbs up if you want to see me do a tutorial on the, the cut, the cut. Uh, how to make a cut line for your art and this is this was a um raster image png image i just added a little cut line around it's a little it's a process but i can make it simple for you all right peace y'all go